Hi, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Charles JQ, and I'm gonna be speaking with you about the special opportunity that is Crown Condos by Innate Developments and Westdale Properties. Innate Developments has a track record of success with eight completed projects and two projects that are currently under construction. DTK is gonna be occupying sometime in the first two quarters of next year, and Sage Kingston is actually occupying this September. Innate Developments partnered with Westdale Properties, again, for the Crown Condos community. Westdale has been part of some of the biggest flagship projects in the city. Projects like Nobu, One Bloor East, Untitled, Theory Condos, Charlie Condos with Great Golf, and the upcoming Mervish Gary project. So Westdale is an incredible partner to have. They have over 4,000 apartments in Canada that they own and operate, as well as over 40,000 apartments in the U.S. Innate Developments has a great pipeline of projects coming up soon. So after Crown Condos, we will probably be doing 77 James Street, which is four towers of 30 stories in height at the Hamilton City Center Mall. That's almost 2,100 units at the heart of Hamilton. Innate Developments also has 30 Francis Street in the pipeline, which is going to be downtown Kitchener, right next to all the major tech employers, and just walking distance to the GO train station in Kitchener. We also have 1107 Main Street coming right around the corner from McMaster University. So as you can see, Innate Developments chooses strategic locations, and Crown Condos is strategically located within a three hour drive of one third of Canada's population. So between Toronto, Ottawa, and Montreal, you have approximately 12 million people. Kingston's population has gone up significantly relative to its population size, as you can see from this bar chart that we put together. So since 2015, there's been 11,000 new residents. That's not that many in terms of an absolute number, but as you can see relative to the size of the city, that is a big increase. And the reason why there isn't more is because of constraints that are put in place by supply, which we're gonna be diving into throughout this presentation. Huffington Post rated Kingston as the number one destination to go to if you're leaving big cities. That was in January. In January, the National Post also published an article citing a study by U-Haul that talks about the top 20 destinations in the country for people that are looking to leave big cities. And Kingston ranked number three in the country. Here's a satellite image of Kingston. As you can see, you have water to the right, you have water to the south at the bottom of the image, and you have water that's working its way up through the conservation wetlands to the west as well. Crown Condos is located right downtown in the center, and to the north you have the Frontenac Provincial Park. So you have natural geographical barriers to new construction and new development. If you look at famous examples of cities around the world that have this type of natural barrier in place, you can find cities like Hong Kong, Vancouver, Manhattan, they have extremely high real estate prices. So we have the same type of physical constraint and geographical barrier to new construction. Here's a simplified version of that aerial map and we've labeled it with the neighborhoods. As you can see, Crown Condos is located right downtown Kingston. Kingston attracts 4.63 million visitors on an annual basis, which relative to population size is more than any other Canadian city. Here on the top left, you can see Springer Square Market, and on the bottom right, you can see the famous Thousand Islands tourist destination. All of this tourism generates an economic impact of about $530 million to the local economy on an annual basis. Kingston is also one of the most historically significant cities in the country. This was Canada's original capital before Ottawa. There are 21 national historic designated sites throughout Kingston. Here you can see the Google ratings and you can see them plotted on the map. The Rideau Canal and the military fortifications are also designated as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Heritage is another one of the main constraints for new development in Kingston, as you'll see later on as we go through the presentation. Crown Condo's location is right in the middle of the Kingston BIA. That's the business improvement area. That's an association of over 700 businesses. So as you can see, we have a walk score of 95, which means that you are walkable to everything and you're only a 10 minute walk to the lake. Crown Condos, as you can see here, is located on the heart of the restaurant strip in Kingston and you have some of the best fine dining and casual food right at your doorstep. 
Here's an aerial image showing Princess Street in the middle and Crown Condos, which we've superimposed. And we are looking east here. As you can see, there are no other high-rise buildings. So you have unobstructed views in every direction. This location is right across the street from the Grand Theater, which is the largest performing arts theater in Kingston. And that tells you that you are in the heart of the entertainment district in Kingston. So that entrance off of Princess Street is what you see here on the right. And the glowing doors that you see there take you into this hallway that you see on the left. So from this hallway, you can go all the way to Queen Street on the other side, or you can go to the private residential lobby where we have a concierge. We're the only building downtown with a concierge, or you can access the commercial space. So we have 3,500 square feet of commercial space. Those are available for ownership. So if you have interest in the commercial space, please let us know. When you're walking downtown Kingston through the historic neighborhood, you can sometimes find hidden courtyards with amazing restaurants. We are fortunate enough as part of this community to have a hidden courtyard located right next to our entrance. So just to the east of the Crown Condos entrance that you see here is a hidden courtyard entrance. And we have four retail spots that are available there with patios. Those are also available for ownership. So please inquire if you're interested. In addition to all this tourism and hospitality, Kingston has a solid economic foundation with major institutional and government employers. Here on the map, we have highlighted the CFB Kingston in yellow on the right. That's the Canadian Forces base. That's one of the largest army bases in the country and a major employer in the area. We've also highlighted Hotel Dieu Kingston, which is just south of our location and walking distance to Crown Condos. That combined with Kingston General Hospital to the south, also in blue, is also one of the biggest employers in the city. And then of course we have Queen's University, which goes without saying is a major institution and employer that generates tons of demand and people coming through looking for premium accommodations. Here's a shot looking northeast over Kingston General Hospital. And we've also indicated Hotel Dieu Hospital here on the map. This is one of the largest employers in Kingston. They employ over 5,000 full-time staff. You have over 2,000 hospital learning staff and 1,000 volunteers as well. Here's a slide about CFB Kingston. So this is one of the largest Canadian forces bases in the country, and it employs over 5,100 people. Between those employees and their family members, they generate over $500 million in economic impact to the local economy on an annual basis. Here's a map that summarizes everything we've talked about so far. It's available at crowncondos.com. And what you'll also see is we've actually designated all the space in between. So between Kingston General, between the downtown, north of the university, everything is labeled heritage. So you can see even the homes, and it's not just the downtown, everything is labeled heritage. Now let's talk about the real estate market in Kingston. Kingston is hot right now. Months of inventory are at an all-time low. So as you can see in the past nine years, months of inventory has never been lower. It's actually below one month of inventory right now. And sales have never been higher. So as you can see here, we are tracking the month of April for the past nine years. And we are well above the 10-year average. And we have actually had the biggest April on record in terms of number of transactions in Kingston. There are very few condominium buildings in Kingston. So we've mapped them out here for you. There's two on the left-hand side of the map. Those are purpose-built student housing. They're west of Division Street, so they're outside of the downtown core. So let's not talk about those. You also have four blue circles that we've shown here on the map. So out of those four circles, you have one which is downtown, which is six years old. Uh, and we will show you some slides which show what that looks like on the inside later. Then you have three that are right on the water. Now, the Crown Condos location is better than the waterfront locations because you're walking distance to all of the amenities in the downtown core. When you're right on the water, those three buildings, out of the three of them, you have one that's 39 years old, you have one that's 41 years old, we have pictures to come of those, and then you have one which is 13 years old, and that's five gore. Now that's actually a really interesting case study because since 2011, there's only been 17 listings there. And the transactions that have happened there in the past year are between 1.1 million and 1.8 million. And what that means is that even though it may not be attainable for most people, there is a premium that's paid for condominium lifestyle in downtown Kingston. 
So here's 121 Queen Street. This is located downtown, six years old. The maintenance fees here are 68 cents per square foot. And as you can see, you have eight foot high ceilings, you have laminate countertops, you have small windows, and you have carpet throughout. This slide here features 185 Ontario and 165 Ontario, which as you can see, also have carpet, lower ceiling heights, smaller windows, and laminate countertops. The maintenance fees on these apartments run about 80 cents per square foot, so it's about $1,500 per month. Crown Condos features modern, high-end finishes, and hotel-style amenities, as you can see here. And you'll have unobstructed views over all of the heritage buildings in every direction. Innate Developments is bringing modern downtown condo living to a prime Kingston location with affordable pricing with Crown Condos. Kingston real estate prices have been on a tear. You can see this chart plots the appreciation and between 2020 and 2021, we've seen 11.6% appreciation. Now this is for the census metropolitan area of Kingston. So this is the average Kingston real estate pricing, but the Crown Condos location is nothing close to average. So we are showing here listings of homes that are in close proximity to Crown Condos. And as you can see, the average list price is $1.2 million. The housing supply shortage in Kingston is so bad that the city of Kingston commissioned a housing study and the conclusions found that there are long waiting lists for rental apartment buildings and there is very low vacancy rates and the demand for new housing is nowhere close to being met by new construction. So new housing is scarce in Kingston and that's due to the many barriers to entry. Crown Condos is the only a fully zoned and approved new condo for downtown Kingston. There is a large group of local residents that oppose any new residential development coming to the city in order to protect the heritage, nature, and character of Kingston. You can look at famous examples throughout the world, like Paris or London, where you have the same type of heritage protection in place and you can see what happens to real estate prices when you constrain supply for those reasons. So in addition to the natural barriers that you have with the water and the park and the conservation area, you also have this heritage protection in place. There are also significantly higher construction costs in Kingston relative to Toronto. The Altus Group construction cost guidelines showed that Kingston is actually 10% more expensive to build in. Part of the reason for that is because Kingston sits on limestone rock, so you actually need to blast with dynamite in order to excavate and go underground. As you can see from the orange line on this chart, rental rates are appreciating on a yearly basis, and vacancy rates are at an all-time low, as you can see from the blue line on the chart. Prior to COVID, Kingston actually had the lowest rental rates in the province at 0.4%. We plotted data here from CMHC for Kingston that shows the newer the building, the lower the vacancy rate. So we have older buildings on the left, we have new buildings on the right, and we put Crown Condos there with 2023. We also plotted CMHC data on Kingston showing the newer the building, the higher the rental rates. So as you move to the right on these charts, you can see rental rates are higher. And we have Crown Condos here on the very right at 2023. Global News reported in January that Queen's University saw a spike of 14% of new applicants for Queen's University. There were actually 45,000 applicants for the only 4,700 spots available for first year students at Queen's. Queen's University is one of the top universities in the country, and as you can see here, enrollment has been increasing by about 800 new students every year. You can also see in blue that the beds on campus provided by the university are relatively flat at about 4,500 beds. Queen's University attracts some of the top students in the country with the highest entrance marks. It also has the largest endowment fund. That's the budget that Queen's University has to hire top faculty, for example. If you look at the top universities in the United States, like Yale, Harvard, Princeton, Stanford, these are all the schools that have the biggest endowment funds in the US. So Queen's University is essentially the Ivy League school of Canada. Rental rates for housing close to the university in Kingston are also 40% higher than in other university towns, like in London, Waterloo, or Hamilton. Queen's University attracts students from the wealthiest families in the country. You have the most private school students that attend Queen's compared to any other university in the country. You also have the least amount of student debt. 
So Queen's University students, approximately 30% of them opt for government financing and, and student loans. That's compared to 64%, which is the national average. Now, because of the serious constraint of new housing supply, landlords are still able to command a premium rent even without fixing up their properties. So there's actually a cockroach award that gets given out on an annual basis to the worst student housing landlord. That's how bad the supply crisis is for new housing around Kingston. On this map, we're showing Queen's University and we have highlighted the neighborhood around Queen's University in yellow. This is essentially all low rise, heritage protected, and the homes north of Queen's and to the west of Queen's, many of them are in very poor condition. We've also plotted Crown Condos, which is about a 10 minute walk to the university here. And we have plotted old rental apartment buildings with the blue circles that you see here on the map. Most of them are along Princess Street. We also plotted Unity Point. Now Unity Point is a newly built, purpose-built student housing rental building. That means the developer owns the building. It's not a condo, you can't own there. And Unity Point is, is achieving premium rents and it's attracting these very wealthy students who want brand new accommodation, but it's also attracting young professionals and professors that want to live in something modern, even though it's not exactly downtown in the core. It's just located north of the university at Princess and University Avenue. There's a really strong argument to be made that Crown Condos will be able to achieve at least the same amount of rent as Unity Point because we're about the same walking distance from campus, 10 minutes from, from Crown to the edge of campus, and we have all of the local downtown amenities that are also walking distance to the community. So you're gonna have the wealthiest students in the country that will need to compete against doctors from the local hospitals, top military officials like generals from the local military base, and young professionals who want that downtown lifestyle at Crown Condos. Let's have a look here at the rental rates by bedroom type at Unity Point. So you can see the banner here on the bottom of the screen shows the average for each of the bedrooms for rental availability as of the month of June of 2021. So two, one bedrooms are renting for $2,000 a month. Two bedrooms are renting for almost $2,600 per month. And three bedrooms, those are renting for $3,550 per month. Now let's talk about the building itself. Crown Condos is nine stories high. There's only 182 suites. So that's a limited time opportunity, folks. If you're interested, make sure you reach out to us and try and move through the process as quickly as you can. Uh, it's fully zoned and site plan approved. We're the only one in the city that has that designation. Occupancy is scheduled for 2023 and construction is starting this year. So we're planning to start demolition this month in June and we're planning to start digging in August. So construction is happening this year. There's also 3,500 square feet of retail space that's available for ownership. So if you think that might be for you, give us a call. We'd be happy to get you all the information you need. There are over 7,000 square feet of amenity space at Crown Condos. You have the gym here on the top left. On the bottom left, you can see a, a great rooftop terrace that we have. We have underground parking. We have a workstation in the bike storage room. We are also the only condo downtown that has a concierge. The maintenance fees at Crown Condos are 59 cents per square foot, plus $35 a month for unlimited bulk internet. Now, those maintenance fees include everything except for your hydro. We have a limited time deposit structure here at Crown Condos. The first year is only a 10% deposit. The year after that is another 5% deposit. And the year after that, in 2023, is not the final 5% deposit. So as you can see, it's really nicely stretched out and that's only available for a limited time. Parking and lockers are available at Crown Condos. So we have parking available, as you can see, at $59,000. And we also have a parking locker combination. So that's the image that you see on the bottom right. That's where you have a private lock locker that's located right off of your parking space. You've got secured bike storage, so you can actually put your bike in a box and lock it. And we have e-bike storage, so you can charge your e-bike as you lock up your bike. We have below ground lockers and we have above ground lockers which are premium lockers located on residential floors. We are offering limited time incentives. So if you are planning on moving in, we have a $5,000 upgrade for you. If you think you may rent out your apartment, then we are offering a one year property management and lease up service for free. We are also offering a free smart home package, which includes 
a smart lock for your door. So you can unlock your, your door using your phone. You have smart lighting as well as a smart thermostat. We also have uh, free bike storage on the wall. So this is a wall mounted bike storage for you that has about a $500 value that we're including for free. And we're also including free assignment. So you have to pay the, the vendor's lawyer's fee, but the vendor themselves isn't charging anything for the assignment. So we've gone through a high level overview of the Kingston market and what makes this such a unique opportunity. Crown Condos has the top location in the city and is one of the only condos that's available for the next five years easily.